So this exhibit is part of Clyde Peeling's productions. The animals are actually taken care of at Clyde Peeling's Reptiland. There are 15 different exhibits covering 14 species. If you don't include all of the species of poison dart frogs, if you do, it's about 17 species. And all in all, there's upwards of 70 different frogs, not including the tadpoles. There's about 20 of those. Um, so the frogs, like I said, are all over the world. They range in size from as small as the poison dart frogs to as big as our African bullfrog male and every size in between. We have ones that are strictly arboreal, prefer to be up in the trees. We have some land-dwelling frogs. We even have strictly aquatic frogs and the African clawed frogs. So basically, any way you can find a frog living, we probably have one. The only thing we don't really have um, kind of around as well as we could is the gliding species. We do have gliding frogs, but ours don't like to glide as much as other species. We actually have a display that shows and asks you the differences between a toad. It's generally with true toads, they're kind of smaller, more squat in their body shape. Um, their skin is rough, has all those bumps that people like to call warts that won't actually give you warts. Um, shorter back legs and they kind of have these really big poison glands kind of right behind their ears. Um, kind of different sizes on different things. So squats are going to be the more, or frogs are going to be the more lean, long back legs that are much more really long, stitch jumping, um, and kind of things like that. Those are the main differences.